You are seeing this image in which the animals are moving from one place to another. Similarly, in another image you are seeing the plant is responding towards the light. These are the movements and plants responding to sudden change in environment or to sudden change in stimulus is known as tropic movement hi friends myself gunur kaur and today i'm going to discuss about the tropic movement tropic movement let's discuss tropism tropism is movement of plants movements of plants towards okay towards or away from the stimulus is known as tropism okay there are lot of examples which show the tropism and plants show this movements and number 1 is phototropism photo means light the movement towards the light is known as phototropism here you are seeing this image in which the plant is tilted towards the light or sunlight this is the phototropism okay in previous video also we discussed about it with the function of auxins auxins move to the opposite side and lighter side bend towards the light okay the next is chemotropism chemo means chemicals okay in flowering plants okay i'll draw the image suppose this is a flowering plant and these are the pollens the male gametes okay male gametes or pollens these come towards the ovule female part in flowers these move through certain chemicals to the ovule this is ovule these move to the female part with certain chemicals it is attracted also with certain chemicals this movement is known as chemotropism the movement towards the chemicals you are seeing this image in which the insect is attracted by the nectar and the chemicals produced by the flower this is another example of chemotropism and the next is geotropism geotropism is geo means gravitation towards the earth movement towards the earth okay the roots roots grow towards the earth towards the geotropism positive geotropism roots are good example of positive geotropism but some roots grow opposite to the earth or away from the earth this is the negative geotropism in this image you are seeing the positive geotropism and in this image you are seeing the negative geotropism next is thigmotropism thigmo is latin word which means touch in response to touch these are good example of creepers creepers money plant you see it climbs upon the wall when it touches the wall it moves towards the wall and the whole movement is upwards okay this response towards the touch is thigmotropism movement towards the touch and it is also positive and negative when it moves towards the touch it is positive and when it moves away from the touch it is negative suppose a root is there and it touches the 
plant okay and it moves to the opposite direction okay that is negative geotropism and the next very important is nastic movement what is it nastic movement you are seeing this video this video will define you the nastic movement very clearly in first video you are seeing that when we touch the plant it closes its leaves and in another video you are seeing that venus fly trap is catching the insect nastic inside movement non directional response to the stimuli other all we have studied is the directional towards the growth this is non directional okay and it changes in turgor pressure it responses when there is change in turgor pressure okay the next is hydrotropism hydro guess the word means water hydro means water movements towards or away from the water is known as hydrotropism movements towards or away from water okay this is image which is showing the hydrotropism next there are some another examples also like the hello tropism hello tropism this means movement towards the sun this movement is shown specially by the sunflower okay sunflower movements towards the sun hello tropism okay and the next is movements towards cold or hot temperatures so this is all about the tropic movement if you like the video hit the like button click the bell icon and subscribe my channel sciolic thank you